You see, my gorgeous Aries, it is not so much about the actual opportunity that you are going to become aware of at the beginning of this week. And I'm talking about the week in between the 21st and the 27th of November 2022. So it's actually not about the opportunity that you are going to become aware of, although you are going to be quite excited, you are going to be quite happy. But most importantly, it's the actual idea that you are going to have when it comes to this opportunity. And this idea that you are going to have is just going to come from the fact that you are at that moment in time going to re remember just completely out of the blue something specific that you've actually learned over the last couple of years. Now this is going to become a rather attractive stage of your life because almost instantly you are going to realize exactly how are you going at this stage of your life how are you going to transform a certain goals into reality? But that in itself, it's going to uh, uh, completely unfold into a whole new project, a venture. And this is to do with the skill. And that in itself, it's also to do with the fact that you are going to be able to make some kind of a dream, something that you wanted to make real for such a long time. Now, this is it. It's happening right now. And this is why you're going to feel so excited because this in itself is going to reflect on not on only your happiness, and optimism. Of course, you're going to be able to do something you wanted to do for such a long time. And I am talking about uh, looking at the big picture, my gorgeous Erin is here. Indeed. So this is going to be big. This is going to be important. And do not be surprised when you do have like a bit of a nostalgic moment, you know, because normally when we are going through something so important and when we have been prepared for the certain stage of our our, our lives, like um, um, you know, when we have been prepared for this, like karmically, like you've been pre prepared for this, then naturally you do become a little bit like nostalgic. But when I say nostalgic, then suddenly, as I said, do not be surprised when you kind of have, a, a, you know, kind of a, when you find yourself like kind of, <clears throat> sorry, drifting towards the specific parts of your past from a long time ago. And this is purely because you are on one hand, making a really powerful a reconnection with yourself. But on another hand, you also need to pay attention to the one specific person from your past who is going to be on your mind, who also has got a, some kind of answer for you in a, such a way where the certain person in your mind from your past is going to be completely constantly on your mind at, a mind at around the same time because of the specific reason. That particular person has done something that you you are going to be able to kind of a repeat, if this is the right way of saying this, you're going to be able to use this now for this situation that you are facing, because at the same time, you are going to be kind of um, wondering how are you going to do certain things, and also you're going to be wondering how long are certain things also at the same time going to take, but you must not uh, let that put you off whatsoever. And this is why that specific person who is going to be on your mind from your past, you know, through that person, you will understand, you know, because also at the same time, when that specific person from your past is consistently going to be on your mind, it's also about this really wonderful energy that you are going to pick up through that person, you know, because when it comes to you feeling courageous and when it comes to you feeling a really great, um, you know, sense of the actual self-esteem and things like that, it's going to be absolutely superb. I'm going, I'm talking about the energy that you're going to be benefiting so much, not only by, by understanding, like an inspiration, that person from your past, from a long time ago, is going, going to inspire you and it's going to give you that additional sense of courage when, when you need it the most, if you know what I mean. So this is going to be important indeed. But all this, you know, when I say like, you're going to have an opportunity and this is going to really make you aware of the some kind of a new learning that you became aware of over the last couple of years. You know, when I say this, this is not only going to lead towards your own happiness and optimism, it not only going to lead towards your financial situation, but as I said, it's going to help you to make a certain dream becomes reality. And I can tell you, my gorgeous Erin is like, you take this on. This is important to stick to this plan. And I'm telling you that it's important to stick to this plan because a lot of 
of other things are going to be going on around at the same time and let me tell you there is actually going to be more than one option available to you at the beginning of this week but you have to go uh, with this one and you will know that this is like the most like kind of like a powerful option that you're going to be facing because at the same time you're going to feel something that you've never ever ever felt before this in itself is going to really financially change your life and i can see that within the next 10 months already you are going to be able to do something that you weren't able to do especially when it comes to the financial situation i can see you getting something really big and really important for yourself like like i can see you like a buying something or getting something, you know, like being able to buy something that you may not be able to buy now. I'm not saying that you haven't got the money or anything like that. Please don't don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying that this is just clearly showing that this is all going to be leading towards the very kind of powerful quality of life in terms of the actual materialistic side indeed. So it's not only about, the, the, you know, like optimism and happiness. You know, there's so many different areas that are actually going to be covered this here at the same time and I like it I like it because you know you are gonna be so inspired here and also you know there is going to be like a kind of some new new direction which is going to be connected to it as well and this new direction that I'm talking about it's going to uh, uh, happen also at around the beginning of the week you are gonna like just completely out of the blue you're gonna see something and you're gonna feel extremely passionate about it whether you're gonna see this like on the outside you know whether you're gonna see this on online whether you're going to read up about something but you will see this is also the part of a brand new you uh, like and also at the same time it's it's showing the actual comeback and when i say that this is showing the actual comeback in terms of the spirituality this is really big and it means that you have learned like a really valuable lesson as well uh, lately and that particular lesson that you've learned lately got stuck at the back of your subconscious mind and it was slowly but surely uh, guiding you to this particular point so you're also going to like feel a very strong connection to something you know something is going to inspire you but that in itself it's not to do with that opportunity that i said at the beginning of the uh, this reading i said that you're gonna see something on the outside or online or you're gonna like kind of like a uh, read about something and then suddenly you're going to feel a very strong passion to explore, to explore, to explore. But this exploration, my gorgeous Irini, it's to do with the new direction. So this is nothing to do with that opportunity that I, started, that I actually started this reading with. You see what I mean? So there are, quite, there are quite a few things that are actually going to be happening. So when you feel like a really strong connection and strong passion to something, you need to understand that this is the part of the brand new direction. And the bottom line is you need to explore this as soon as you possibly can and how you're gonna know this because at the same time when you become aware of this like a brand new direction there's some kind of like a really major news that you are going to hear on the outside as well that haven't got anything to do with your life but when it comes to the actual timing you will know what am I talking about because so at around the time when you see such a strong connection towards something you're gonna feel such a strong passion a very powerful moment in time because your vibration is going to be raised arising like a big mama indeed and this is going to be impossible to ignore so this is something that you need to understand as soon as you hear some kind of a news on the outside something bl mind-blowing you are going to hear something crazy something rather big like a big mind-blowing news and this is really going to oh my god this is crazy you know and this is how you will know exactly that this is your sign that this is only like kind of pointing you towards the, the importance of you uh, paying attention to this like a brand new uh, direction in your life but you're gonna need to explore this as much as you can but I'm telling you you will know because this is to do with the passion in your life passion 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 indeed by the time you get to the mid part of this week my gorgeous arenas you know listen to me very carefully at around the midweek you are going to become fully aware of something that you're not really going to like and what you're going to become fully aware of it's going to be connected to the certain person and you have to be smart you have to be clever because you need to know this you need to be aware of this and first of all you're going to feel negative you're going to feel a little bit down and you're going to feel a little bit sad and most 
worst of all, this is all going to turn into you, in turn into you being extremely and feeling extremely defensive, like almost as if you want to go and have an argument of someone and get certain things off your chest. But I repeat, and I will say that that is all, or that is the last thing that you should actually do, my gorgeous Erinis. Okay, this is very important. So it's not only when you become fully aware of this particular thing about one specific person in your life, you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it. Okay, but it's important, as important, when it comes to your spiritual development, to not to waste your energy uh, whatsoever. Preserve your energy, preserve your power, and take care of yourself. As I said, by doing this, as I said, you're going to feel the bottom line is that this is all going to feel, uh, this is all going to lead towards you uh, uh, suddenly feeling extremely defensive. But that means that you have to rise above the situation and do not respond in a negative way whatsoever. Because there is something very specific that you are going to learn when it comes to this as well. So this is important. And when I say that there is something very specific that, that, that you are going to learn, this, this on one hand, <clears throat> you know, you need to trust yourself here. You need to trust yourself here because what you're going to learn, it's at the same time going to bring you so much confidence when it comes to things that you're focusing on right now. You will see exactly what I mean. It's going to really uh, uh, affect your power, personal power in the best possible way, but it's also uh, uh, going to bring a blessing into your life, a blessing into your life. And you will see by the end of the week exactly what do I mean by this blessing because you will be able to recognize something else that you weren't able Able to recognize at this moment in time about yourself okay so this is like just remember when you feel a little bit defensive when it comes to that person what you need to do what you need to do not arguing not be angry no baby no preserve your energy you just need to accept something you just need to accept this because this is not going to change whatsoever so the sooner you accept the situation when it comes to that specific person in your life the better it's going to be when it comes to you and as soon as you accept this situation that it is what it is there is nothing that you're going to be able to change about it whatsoever uh, only like a couple of days after that moment in time uh, that in itself is bringing you such an amazing enormous reward because now suddenly you are going to be able to kind of see this situation from a completely different angle okay so you're going to be able to see this situation from a completely different angle and that in itself is going to provide you of course with a different perspective especially when it comes to like uh, how exactly are you going to like uh, really respond to this because you will see that do you know what I mean what you're going to find out you're actually going to be you know within the next couple of days you're actually going to be quite grateful uh, to that person if you know what I mean so you will see you will see because that is all that is all going to be quite beneficial for you indeed so that's why you must not overreact okay that's why you have to accept the situation because by accepting this situation you're trusting yourself you're trusting your spirit you're trusting your own soul you're trusting your own intuition you're trusting your own internal guidance and that in itself it's all going to be building up towards you uh, being able to kind of understand something you know from a completely different angle and you are going to be provided with a different perspective within the next couple of days and that in itself it's going to help you understand that you are uh, going to gain something absolutely invaluable you know through this uh, situation actually a and that in itself it's going to be important because also it's like kind of going to uh, uh, make you aware that this was actually quite beneficial for you uh, and you will know after this moment in time also who you can trust who you can not trust but you're also going to kind of like become aware of the actual and importance of people in your life whether they do something really negative or whether they do something really positive there is always some kind of a learning process that we can actually get and gain through this okay uh, by the time you get to the last part of this week my gorgeous Irene is like oh my god something completely unexpectedly it's actually going to happen something completely unexpectedly is going to happen and this in itself <coughs> sorry 
and this in itself uh, that situation it's really kind of going to uh, uh, make you aware of like a, some kind of like a spiritual gift that you have and the spiritual gift that I'm talking about it's a lot to do with your soul purpose with your spiritual journey so this like kind of unexpected situation that is going to take place at, at around the end of the week it's really to do with you like maybe like kind of like a watching a group of people a watching couple of people and then one of these couple of people it's really going to inspire you and you're not going to understand when this inspiration is actually coming from but then suddenly you're going to feel a very kind of strong connection with yourself when it comes to things that you know how to do and they're going to inspire you to do what they were doing because you're going to like it so much and the reason why am I saying that you're going to be inspired so much it's because almost instantly you are going to know you're going to feel like almost instantly really really exciting you know so you're going to feel like a very kind of powerful uh, optimistic and rather high energy you're going to feel very confident and brave and you're going to feel extremely kind of adventurous at the same time so that in itself you know it makes that it will all start making sense why did you have so many problems lately and even more importantly it is going to like kind of like a really you know uh, open your mind and it's also going to kind of highlight exactly like uh, 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 your ambitions and and things like that what you should be doing in terms of the actual next step because that particular a uh, kind of uh, like you know unexpected situation it's going to highlight you know some kind of some kind of sacred gift something very sacred that you do something that is really unique to you something that is really important to you and at the same time this is all going to be leading towards you like kind of using that in order to kind of like achieve a success in your life through your own ambition but the sacred gift it's some, an element that it's missing okay the sacred gift it's a gift it's an element that it's going to change everything and it's at the same time gonna be you know it at the same time you are gonna like kind of like a really attack so many problems by doing this and you will see exactly what I mean what I need you to understand my gorgeous Irene is all also when it comes to the end of the week you know what you feel ambitious about you're gonna feel ridiculously ambitious something is gonna be on your mind so much in terms of the actual ambition especially when it comes to the 25th 26th and 27th of November it's all it's like you're gonna feel like, like very much so extremely ambitious and the, uh, the things that are making you feel so ambitious this is what you need to follow this is what you need to do do I do not understand I do not know how to actually even stress the importance of this because sometimes 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 people just can't kind of keep on leaving certain things behind and thinking that they're gonna return to them but then at the same time you know you need to understand to put yourself as a number one here and the only way to put yourself as a number one is that within these three days 25 26 and 27th of November you will see that from the first time you from the first moment you wake up in the morning you're gonna feel extremely extremely ambitious and this is what you need to follow <clears throat> exactly what is making you feel so ambitious and that in itself it's also going to be connected to that specific situation which is going to surprise you completely you know and then you're gonna be you're gonna be watching two or three people or a group of a certain people and through them you're gonna realize this sacred gift they're gonna inspire you and you will want to do something and in that moment in time you're gonna realize that this is a very connect this connection is very important to you and you're also gonna realize oh my god is the power of synchronicity power of synchronicity power of synchronicity you will see exactly what I mean so this is all gonna be leading towards you feeling extremely ambitious and uh, as I've already mentioned and when the, the, the things that you feel extremely ambitious this is what you need to follow this is what you need to do no matter what's happening around your life because at the same time I know that personally you are going to be dealing with a certain issues especially when it comes to the certain family member it's going to need a little bit of your help it's nothing it's going to be major nothing really negative and that is going to be taking some of your energy but this is all kind of part of the little test part of the little ch challenge you must not allow this to take too much energy from you 
As I said, you need to put yourself as a number one. So you need to pay attention to this ambition and, 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 and like why you're feeling so ambitious and what exactly is making you feel uh, so ambitious and how you can incorporate this like kind of a sacred gift of yours that you've actually noticed about yourself to the power of synchronicity, which I mentioned earlier, how you can kind of put these two things together. The reason why this is so important, my gorgeous Erin, is it's purely because this ambition that you're going to be feeling, it's going to bring a greater success into your life in terms of the actual victory, in terms of the actual success, in terms of, in terms of the actual, uh, uh, you know, you feeling so, uh, um, you know, in terms of the actual accomplishment, in, in terms of you feeling so proud of yourself. So you have to listen to me very carefully. It's not only about, oh, yeah, I'm feeling these ambitions. No, baby, no. You have been prepared for this for a long time. So it's not only about, oh, yeah, I feel ambitious. What is making me feel ambitious? But how you can put that sacred gift together and mix it and take it on the next level because this is going to bring one of the greatest victories into your life in terms of the accomplishment like you've never ever had before. It is very important for you to understand this indeed. And let me just see my gorgeous Erinis, what is going to be your oracle card of the week. Let's just see what is going to be an oracle card of the week, my gorgeous Erinis. What is going to be an oracle card of the week? Okay, let's just see. Let's just see what is got inspiration, baby. You see this? You are gonna have such an amazing inspiration this week. Okay, this is important. You have to follow your inspiration because this is going to also bring an empowerment into your life, and that in itself, it's again uh, going to make you. You see these animals, uh, uh, this this oracle card, but it's also like kind of that's just so important because by you following your inspirations throughout this week. This is not going to empower you, but it's also going to open your eyes and you're going to start noticing things around you that you haven't noticed in a really, really long time, especially when it comes to like, um, you know, like uh, people and, 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 and animals and, and, and you are going to start seeing and noticing magic in the world. I'm not within the world. I'm not saying that you haven't noticed this before, but suddenly you are going to feel like extremely uh, spiritual indeed and this is important because you are uh, going to transformation my gorgeous Erinis and that on another hand is going to give you so much uh, confidence do you know what that there is also like a really big problem that you had for quite a long time and you've been keep on living that big problem for, for keep on living it aside living it aside living it aside and this big problem that I'm talking about it's something really personal and it's something that you have uh, you don't even like talking about it's just something that you normally keep it to yourself. You don't even like to think about it, how much energy this was actually draining from you for such a long time. So now, my gorgeous Serene, is you're also going to have a confidence for the first time to actually deal with this. And this is brilliant. And the reason why you're going to have a confidence to deal with this for the first time in your life, you know, I'm telling you that you're entering the stage where you're going to feel extremely spiritual, extremely deep. There are certain things that you're going, that they're going to be on your mind that you're not going to be able to explain. But this is all coming through your subconscious mind. It's coming from somewhere else and it's coming from the deepest uh, parts of your internal guidance. So that in itself is going to be a turning point. After this week, a lot is going to change. So this is why you have to, you must uh, really pay attention to those things that are inspiring you that are bringing you so much inspiration like there is no tomorrow. Okay, my gorgeous Erinis, thank you ever so much for watching my videos. I'm sending you brightest blessings, lots of love, healing, peace and light to every single one of you. Thank you ever so much for watching my videos. Sasha Bonasin, Psychic Medium. Love you. Bye.